Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Now, the last two weeks, we have done our Smart Fill tool, our, our bean, variable bean, and bean stitch lines. Now, we did those um, last week. So, if you want to look at that, go watch last week's video. And this week, the next new feature, because these are all new features of our winter update for 2020, I want to show you we did a bean fill and a variable bean fill, and it's really, really cool. So I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Now, you could use any shape, any of our artwork shapes or anything, but I'm just going to draw this rectangle. Now, when I used my artwork tool here I did this and now this is artwork how do I know this is artwork well let's come over to our sequence view over on the bottom right if I click here it says it's artwork if I select it it tells me right here Kathy you're working with artwork so now that I have artwork I want to play with the bean fill so I'm going to come down to my fill tabs. I'm going to come across, come across, come across till I get to my stars. Now let's look. Where do we have the ability to add a bean or a variable bean fill? Well, let's put a regular fill, a standard fill in here. Now I put in a standard fill. I'll 3D it just so you can see it. And I'm going to come up here and it says fill. Underlay, gradient, split. I don't see any bean fill or a variable bean fill. Hmm. Okay, so let's come to the next tab, which is our fancy fill. Let's left mouse click on that. So now I'm going to turn this into a fancy fill. All right. Again, I've only got a fill, an underlay, gradient, push pull, split, commands. Okay, no bean fill. Let's move on down to motif. I'm going to left mouse click on motif. Now I'm going to apply this motif and I've got a fill. Oh, look, I have a bean fill. So that tells me right away I cannot use a regular fill and I can't use a fancy fill or you will not see this bean tab in your properties box. Okay, so now that I have that, remember, on a fill, when we're using a motif pattern, this is fully rescalable. So I'm going to make it larger. I'm going to make these about an inch, and I'm going to apply that. And by fully rescalable, what I mean is each of these stitches will hold a 2.5 stitch length, no matter how big I make it or if I make it smaller. It's fully rescalable. It's not going to stretch out your stitches or chump them up. Now that I've done that, I want to do a bean fill, but I think I want a longer stitch length. So I'm going to put it at three millimeters length and apply. So I have to pick my stitch length here. Once I've told it what my stitch length is, I'm going to click on this bean fill right here or fill bean. Now it says bean style, none. I'm going to tell it I want a bean and I want three repeats and I'm going to apply that. Now when I apply that, that means each one of these stitches is a bead and it's going to go three times. So watch. I'm going to do it one stitch at a time. Let me come here. Forward, back, forward, back. You notice it's doing a dance. It's doing a waltz. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's doing a waltz. So it's going to waltz all the way around with a three-ply stitch. And this is going to give us a very bold look for our motifs. And they look pretty cool. Now I'm going to select this again. We're going to come back and select. And now I'm going to go back into my bean fill. And I'm going to come down here to randomize. Now I can randomize by stitch, which means some might be three, some might be one, some might be seven, some might be five, eleven, because realize this is the what is, the range that I can pick for those repeats. 
Well, if I'm telling it to randomize, I'm telling it to do it on its own. Pick a three, then pick a seven, then pick a three, then pick a nine, pick an 11, pick a nine, pick a seven, pick a nine. So it's gonna do its own thing. So I can tell it to do it by stitch. Now in this, by line would be a little bit difficult in a, in a uh, motif. That would be more for straight, but I'm gonna apply this. And now, since I've done it by stitch, let's go see. Okay. All right, it's tying on now. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we had a nine and an eleven. This one might be a three. One, two, three. So, yep, that was just a three ply. So this is going to randomize just in the computer generated engine, it's going to randomize this. And I'm going to tell you, it looks pretty cool when you stitch this out. Now, this is a motif, remember. Didn't work for a regular fill, didn't work for a fancy fill. Now, I'm going to pass up, because I already know it's not going to look on these waves. I'm going to get here to my mesh fill. Let's go to my mesh fill. Now, with our mesh fill, we can come in here, and if I look at this on the mesh fill, you have all these different patterns that you can pick for a mesh fill. We're just going to leave it at straight right now. And again, now I'm going to do this. What I've got the difference now is, first I decide, what is the space between the two lines? So this is four millimeters. Let's put six. And you know what? Let's make my stitch length 3.5 and I'm going to apply that. So what I'm doing is I'm making the stitches farther apart and now I'm going to go into that bean and now I'm going to say do a bean and I just want five repeats. Apply. So now every time it stitches it's going to do five repeats. But now I could come in here again and say let's randomize by stitch which would mean each stitch or by line. So this might be all threes, this one might be 11s, this might be nine, this might be sevens. And I'm gonna tell you, it's really fun. Now let me tell you what else is fun. Let's go back to the front screen. What if I would love to use my brand new 12 weight thread? That stuff is awesome. Now with 12 weight thread, I'm gonna want, in this case, a minimum of a four stitch length. Okay, I'm going to apply it, and I'm probably going to make an 8 here. So let's apply this. So now I'm going to have a longer stitch length and more space in between because 12 weight thread is heavier. Now I'm going to put a 90-14 top stitch needle. I want the top stitch needle to use that 12 weight thread, and I want that 90 to poke a hole big enough in between here as those go back and forth. Now I can come into the bean. I probably wouldn't do a random, and I probably wouldn't do it more than three or five times. And I'm going to apply this, and it's going to have a great look from being a random, I mean, a, excuse me, a bean stitch with a three-ply. Those are going to look wonderful. Now let's get a new piece of paper real quick. Now, not only, I made this a rectangle just so we could look at it, but I could come into my custom shapes. And I could pick any shape and do the same thing. I can pick this car. Now I can take this car, I can turn it into a mesh fill, and I've got my mesh fill, and then I could come in here and do the same thing. I want a three leaf. I want to come in here. I want to turn this into a bean. I can do it, randomize it by stitch or line, or just leave it as is, and apply. So any shape you can fill, you can select either a motif fill or a mesh fill. Those are your options. And if you can't find your tab that tells you bean fill, it means you've picked a fill that can't be done with a bean stitch. See, if we used a standard fill or a fancy fill, the stitches are too close together and too many to do a repeat of those. It would be hideous and it would break thread and 
chunk up your design. You need to be able to have distance in between that for this feature to be useful. And it is awesome. I, I want you to stitch out a few things. Change your numbers in this box. Make your stitch length a little longer. And go in there and do some bean fill repeats. Do some randomizing. And just stitch it out. And as Trevor says, use your stitch and shape. That is the most wonderful stuff to stitch out on to really get a good look. And if you want to see how some of these look randomized and stuff, if you go to our club, let's go into our Floriani club. I'm going to click F here for Floriani. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. If you come into our updates, know that every time we have an update, of course, we do videos. And these are all done by Trevor. And remember, Trevor and I teach very different. We think different where the information ends up being the same. But if you want to watch Trevor's video, he's actually stitched these out so you can see them on Stitch and Shape to see what these different looks are with the different widths, the different variations in the bean fill, and with the motif with the bean fill. So I hope you enjoyed this week's club. I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a wonderful, safe week. Great to see you. Bye-bye.